Hello and welcome to this session. This session is dedicated to a 4x4 four four matrix keypad. As you can see we have this keypad connected to Arduino and we have also connected our uh, LCD which we have already seen in our previous videos. So this keypad is very useful for entering data for an any embedded platform because we don't normally use a regular keyboard for embedded applications a keypad is quite useful one so we can enter uh, this can be used for entering uh, suppose password protected applications a keypad to access uh, dialers suppose we have a phone dialer application or many maybe in games we can use for game controls as you can see the numbers doesn't matter you can label them whatever you want for here they are labeled as 1 to 9 a b c d star 0 and hash Fine, so let's move ahead and for this experiment we will simply uh, use this keypad to display characters and numbers, sorry, these the labeled numbers on LCD screen. So this idea can be extended to any application, you can interface um, any input device, any uh, temperature sensor output, anything you want and show it on LCD and keypad can be used to, as I mentioned, for various other reasons. So you have 16 uh, input keys and you can see we have eight eight lines coming out from uh, keypad and four lines are for rows so these are for these four that is four to seven are for rows and zero to three are for columns so we'll see in detail about rows and columns and now coming to our live video feed here the same circuit is made I already uh, extend our previous circuit and here you can see we have our matrix keypad the same way it is connected from 0 to 7 in digital input output pins so let's get into programming so unlike other inbuilt libraries keypad library isn't available out of the box so you have to download it from playground.arduino.cc code keypad so this is a community made uh, library and very very stable though I have used it personally for my experiments and it is made by a person named Alex Gender so thanks to Alex Gender we need not to write a complete uh, keypad routine which which is very very useful for us for any input operation so before we move further first we have to download this keypad dot zip file and install it so i will just click on this keypad dot zip link select ok i have already saved it so let me download it again once downloaded you can go to arduino ide select sketch include library and you have to go to add zip library here you have to select where you have downloaded this zip, zip file I have downloaded mine in 5.5 you can see keypad.zip select ok and you can see here the library it says library added to your libraries check include library menu so go to sketch include library come right way to the bottom you can see contributed libraries keypad and you have keypad.h so from next time onwards you need not to go to libraries if you wish to and you can simply type hash include space keypad.h coming to the documentation as I mentioned you need not to remember and you need not to uh, worry about uh, the syntax of the program you have to go through the documentation the documentation clearly mentions that we have these inbuilt functions this library provides void begin wait for key and etc we will use them but let us first find out uh, what are the different constructors required so we have to create a keypad object as you can see keypad object which uses the row pins and column pins so let me maximize this window for a while okay so yes 
So first you have to create a keypad <coughs> uh, keypad object, uh, create a uh, keypad object and that keypad object will contain uh, values for rows. You can see here rows, columns, the row pins and other details. So this we will see right away and then simply in fact it's better we see an example which will give you more insight you include the library like mentioned here here they have mentioned uh, constant byte rows equal to 4 and bytes constant bytes columns equal to 3 this is because 4 cross 3 keypad ours is 4 cross 4 so we will use 4 and 4 here character keys rows column so these are array which tells that which uh, numbers are labeled which characters are labeled on the keypad so in our case it is labeled as 0 to uh, 9 star hash abcd and here abcds are missing but in our case we had abcd as well right so you have to tell arduino that what are the key mapping how they look so this is just key mapping array next you have to tell uh, arduino that which pins are for rows and which pins are for columns so uh, we already know that keypad uh, is connected through eight pin header and eight pin contains uh, four pins for rows and four for columns and in our case we already discussed zero to three is for columns and four to seven are for rows so we'll replace these values here here they have not shown any interfacing with LCD they have shown interface with uh, serial device so serial device comes in our later chapter although this is a very very trivial example we will go a little bit ahead and display it on LCD so I hope you understood this example if not anyway we will write our code and we will discuss there again so bringing this example on let me let me write the code so I have paused the video and uh, wrote this uh, code for to save some time and as you recall this liquid crystal is creating a uh, object for liquid crystal class uh, and the, here we have the key mappings like we have this 4 cross 4 keypad so 4 and 4 and here are the labels which appear on the keypad so this is to tell microcontroller this is to tell arduino that this is how the keys are mapped and this is how you have to find out the key pressed we are seeing uh, another array of row pins which uh, which uh, arduino's digital input output pins are connected to rows as as i mentioned 4 to 7 you can see here So 4 to 7 is connected to rows and columns 0 to 3. So we need not to uh, discuss the internals of the keypad. You can just simply imagine it's a 16 cross, uh, sorry, 4 cross 4 uh, matrix layout where each, each node, each junction contains a momentary switch. And based on the algorithms, we find out which key is pressed. So that those algorithms are of, co of course mentioned in this keypad.h function. Then we have to initiate an instance of class keypad. So simply uh, initiate the class keypad, name it as name the object as my keypad. And here we have uh, let me expand this. So here we have called this keypad function and which which takes the values from make my keys this uh, key maps row pins which is uh, 4 to 7 column pins which are 0 to 3 digital input output and 4 cross 4 matrix keypad so 4 and 4 so we are not using variable here we are directly giving hard-coded values and this is good enough to uh, start with and now because these are all uh, globally declared let's declare our void setup and as you know in the void setup we have to mention 
lcd dot begin what kind of lcd we are using 16 characters two rows we use, want to use all of it okay there is nothing to initiate the keyboard keyboard we already initiated now coming to white set uh, white loop so here here we have to define a character type variable key which will receive from my keypad dot get key so get key is the function which probably you have seen in our uh, let me show you here we have a syntax to get which key is pressed using this inbuilt functions let me show you the function we have the function character get key returns the key that is pressed this function is non blocking so it won't uh, block any other running programs in the backend suppose you're blinking an LED or uh, receiving a serial data so this is a non blocking function so this returns a variable key uh, sorry the value stored in a variable key and if accord I'm writing this according to the documentation only <coughs> sorry if key not equals to no key and there is an if condition if this is true then uh, LCD dot set cursor 0 comma 0 and LCD dot print key I think that's it it should print whatever we type on uh, keypad so let's bring the video on let me resize it fine so I will press ctrl U to upload save the file okay so name keypad is I probably accidentally remove the keypad hash include keypad dot H control U to upload uh, extra curly brace void loop this one goes for function I think that's it upload Fine. compiling sketch and no display on screen because we have to press a key so I am pressing 5 yep it's work it works 4 7 and so on now you may ask me why I have written here if key not equals to no key so for even the documentation doesn't say on the Arduino page the Arduino page the documentation doesn't reveal what is this no underscore key but if you go through the uh, source code of uh, this library you will find this no key is nothing but null character so what is a null character null character means it's a terminating character uh, null character is this so this is a null character in uh, C and C++ programming language this is used to tell where the string terminates so this is how the compiler knows where the string terminates but here we don't have any string but this keypad library uses this null character to uh, to print non keypad values so we have these keypad values our key as keys are labels like this labeled like this one two three a and etc if these keys are pressed it won't print null if any other key is pressed or nothing is pressed it will print null so just remember how it works I thought I think you you already understood some part of it let me explain it further so this void loop is an infinite loop as you know right so indefinitely it is in a constant while loop it is constantly receiving uh, a key press 
right but if there is no key press at all suppose at this time i am not pressing any key okay it, it is completely idle but still it is polling it is finding out whether key is pressed or not key is pressed or not so this loop is very very busy in finding out whether key is pressed or not key is pressed or not and while there is no key pressed what it prints it has to print something maybe the library is designed in that way it has to print something for that it is printing a null character okay so this null character uh, is printed when when there is no actual key pressed fine so we are uh, this function uh, sorry this conditional look for the null character and it only prints the numbers which are mentioned on the keypad so it ignores when there is a null character and it only prints when there is uh, actual character actual character means one of these so to prove that this is a null character so let me do one thing uh, it might take some time but it's very important to understand this uh, let me replace this no key with a null character okay so is let me upload it again done and let me press the key so i press 6 and you can see 6 so this no underscore key is nothing but a null character so i'm doing the same so now some of you might be thinking that why not we just make key equals to or instead of not equals to let's make it equals to equals to so let's see how this null character looks on uh, our lcd screen so this means print everything means if you uh, if you get a null character print only null character okay so let's do this first so here you can see there is a uh, unidentified symbol it's kind of garbage value and that's all that's how this null character looks because this null character is not uh, defined in our keypad uh, lcd uh, database lcd uh, list of accepted symbols so it is defining it something like this broken five or whatever so this function now tells that print only if there is a null character suppose i now press something else it doesn't change because it ignores seven it ignores star it ignores zero etc right now you might ask me why not we just make a else statement and uh, print our other characters if key equals to equals to null character then print this garbage else so let me try this else so let's lcd dot set cursor so let me make it to second row lcd dot print key fine i'm doing a lot of mistakes today uploading and done so it, it, it still prints the garbage value but you can see in the second line when i press a number it prints 7 when i press 4 it prints 4 okay so what does it mean it means when there is no number pressed it by default print a null character which is unidentified for our lcd if and key is pressed a regular key, key is pressed from keypad it it prints the key so our original function let me uh, undo all these changes so this is this is the function which we got from the documentation right k 
key not equals to no key so no key is null character so whenever you find a character which is not null character print it so what what are not null characters our numbers our keypad numbers right fine so let me make small modification so instead of using lcd set cursor which replace the number there itself uh, let's use the another function for lcd which let me show you on documentation we have this left to right okay so like it will print on screen left to right lcd left to right and this function doesn't take any argument control u cleared okay so now you can see this cursor moves to the next available space okay i hope you have learned something from this chapter you can go through the uh, keypad and lcd libraries and do more experiments and of course you can interface many more input devices and use and make many more exciting projects so that's all for this keypad session we'll see you in next video